Sorry, this review is really, really late. I've just been in a creative slump lately. Anyway, no one cares. Let's talk Deadpool. Oh my god! Uh, hey. <laughs> Awful. Deadpool follows the story of Wade Wilson, a sarcastic asshole that is turned into a sarcastic asshole with superpowers by the guy from Transporter Refuel. Just play the jet ski scene. Like, that's all you need from that movie. Oh my god. I Wow. Okay. First of all, Ryan Reynolds, perfect for the role of Deadpool. Completely ignore the fact that he spent a decade trying to get this movie made to start off with, but the fact that just... He's basically just Wade Wilson. Ed Skrein, the guy from... <laughs> the guy from Transporter Refueled, plays Ajax, the very cliche British villain. He does a very good job in this role, apart from a few little hiccups throughout the movie. Oh, I'm not even going to try this one. Please welcome the vision that is Marina Baccarin. He is great as Deadpool's love interest. Ryan Reynolds and her just work. And it wasn't even just the romantic stuff either. It was just them being together as people, them being friends, them hanging out. I really love those scenes because of how great they were bouncing off each other. TJ Miller is also really solid when it comes to comedic parts. I could talk for hours about the cast. All of them are just great. Deadpool really isn't directed too terribly, especially for a debut movie. Like really, most of the shots are just straightforward, kind of flat comedy shots, but there are some really creative shots, such as the opening scene, which was beautiful. I was also pleasantly surprised when it came to the comedy in this movie. I was expecting it to be, I oh, get it, cause, cause Deadpool, he made a sex joke. Ah, looked at, get it? Cause he looked at the screen and said, ha ha, I'm Deadpool, Katana, Chimichanga. Oh, spicy. But there were some genuinely clever jokes in here. Even the pop culture references weren't the worst things in the world. You know, I actually found myself laughing at quite a few of them. I genuinely laughed a ton while watching Deadpool, considering I thought it would be poop jokes and fourth wall break. The movie. There really wasn't much I didn't like about this movie. This is the part where I'd usually complain about, oh, the CGI is terrible, or complain about the 10% of jokes that I didn't find myself absolutely wetting myself over. But really, there's not much to complain about. And sure, I could nitpick this, which is my job in these videos, but really, the rest of the movie makes up for it. Like I could say, oh, there wasn't enough action. But then again, people who are saying that are the people who prefer the prequels because lightsaber fights are cool. Oh yeah, my favorite lightsaber fight is when Yoda picks up a lightsaber. <sighs> you ruined it. God dang, ruined it. Overall, Deadpool is written well for a superhero movie. It's directed decently, doesn't overuse fourth wall breaks and just use them to the point where it's like, oh yeah, it's funny because Deadpool, hey. This movie is genuinely fun. Like I don't remember the last time I walked out of the theater thinking, hmm, you know what? That was fun. I enjoyed myself, especially when it comes to comedies because I completely, completely avoid them, and I don't think that we've even got any good comedies from the past couple of years. Comedy is dead. Honestly, comedy is dead. And that's why Deadpool gets an 8.5 out of 10. To top it off, I definitely think it's a Blu-ray purchase, and I really, really believe you should actually go out and support this movie while it's in also cinema. see it with an audience, because that really helps. It's that sort of movie. Have you guys seen Deadpool? If not, how? How? Like, really? What? You haven't seen it over the weekend? Come on, man. That's like a whole four days that it's been out. I can't count. What did you think? Did you see Zoolander 2 instead of this movie? Anyway, my camera is running out. Anyway, have a great day and happy watching. <laughs> 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 The plot overview is kind of difficult considering there are three plots. One is, oh, all of the pop stars in the world are being killed and they're all pulling blue steel as they're being killed, which is the one that you know from watching the trailer. The second one is, oh no, the school that I built was actually made out of rubber cement and it killed my wife. Let's find my son. And the third one is just, oh, there wasn't just Adam and Eve, there was Steve as well. He was the first male model, and turns out, if you get a descendant of Steve and take their blood...